Winner of the night. TJ Tier has been in fine form in the early stages of this season. He'll be looking to continue that tonight, but increased competition out there on the track. And these drivers, the youngest of the bunch. And it is still early days in the season. But you do get the impression TJ Tier has laid down a marker. And he'll be hoping to continue that form tonight as we await the first green flag of the evening. There's a strong threat of rain. It's remaining dry for now as we get the green flag for the first time tonight. First car through is Merriweather in car 118. And he's getting better and better with each week here at Onken Raceway. But again, a bright start from TJ Tier in car 119, overtaking him on the approach to turn three and establishing an early lead. And he just looks such a complete driver already in the junior rods and establishing an early lead and getting away from car 118. Harry Merriweather early doors, but he's in such a commanding position already in just an eight lap race. This one with 800 Macaulay Tier, the brother of the race leader, just trying to get past 111 Sam Cracknell. And if Macaulay can have a similar debut to his brother did three weeks ago, it'll be a very happy household later tonight. No change then, still Tier leading Merriweather ahead of 111 Sam Cracknell. McCoy Tier and Kean Stanford also in the field tonight. But TJ Tier is going to be held up here by Kean Staniford and 800 Macaulay Tier as he makes his way onto that back straight. He streaks ahead of his nearest competitor out there, Harry Merriweather. But he is being held up here, and that'll be a frustrating situation for TJ Tier as he looks to get away further from Harry Merriweather. And there's a chance here for Merriweather just to close that gap as TJ Tier does eventually get past 11 Kean Staniford and then duly past 800 McCauley Tier. So it took him a bit of time, but eventually he did get around that trio of cars just holding him up there as McCauley Tier advances past 111. Sam Cracknell going on through that back straight and moving into third place, but with one lap remaining, TJ Tier is in such a dominant position already, and he'll have eyes on claiming the first win of the evening. A very blustery night here in Onkin, there the second flag is waving, TJ Tier first through, first race of the night for him, first win will be Harry Merriweather in second and McCauley Tier, I make that in third place. But all some way off the eventual winner, 119 TJ Tier. We said before the race started, he'd been in terrific form and he's starting as he means to go on here. Yet another race in the junior rods. And yet another win for the driver of car 119, the first winner of the night. Put your hands together for TJ Tier. Confirmation, your race winner, 119, TJ Tier. In the silver, 
is 357. 46, Steve Luton, alongside him, 358. Mark Hargreaves, and 420 is Lee Freestone. We've had numerous winners in the production rod so far this season. Callum Tilly's been a winner, as has Ian Neal, Jamie Turnbull, Mark Hargreaves, and Steve Luton, and Lee Freestone all getting themselves across the line first. At some stage or another in the early part of this season, and they've got 10 laps to work their magic now as 88, Callum Tilly first through. Jamie Turnbull trying to make a blistering start and go round 5-3-8. Ian Neal, but they're unable to do so as they make their way onto that back straight. And eventually, look at that speed from 3-5-7, Jamie Turnbull. 46, Steve Luton's also following him round as they go past Ian Neal, who drops back into... Last place, how will he respond and get round 358 Mark Hargreaves? But it's 88 Callum Tilly with that early lead. 46 Steve Luton looks like he means business tonight. He's looking very threatening to the top order there. It's 357 Jamie Turnbull tries to cling on to second place as they go round turn two. 420 Lee Freestone has made his way into fourth spot as he tries to make his way in between both. Turnbull and Luton, and he gives Turnbull a little shunt in the back there. Handbrake on as he goes down turn four. And this has all the makings for an absolute classic in the opening production rods race of the night. 420 Lee Freestone is still in four somehow, but he's let Jamie Turnbull know that he is right behind him. 46, Steve Luton has moved into second place. And it was a brilliant start from him. He just kept going and going, moving right up the order. And he's closing the gap on 88, Callum Tilly, who's had the lead from the outset. But you do get the impression that Steve Luton can do everything in his power to snatch that lead away from 88, Callum Tilly. As again, they go on to that back straight and pick up some real speed. And now 46, Steve Luton's within touching distance of Tilly. Is there going to be contact as they make their way around that first bend? He's going around the outside. He's taking the long route, but he's made it. And what a seamless maneuver that was from 46, Steve Luton, who is now the race leader. So it's Luton who leads Callum Tilly. And there's problems for 420 Lee Freestone. I didn't quite see what caused him to collide with the outer safety fencing, but it's meant he's dropped right back. And Jamie Turnbull, I think it is, in car 357, who is now in third place, but he's trying to get past 88 Callum Tilly. 46, Steve Luton's running away with this race now. And 420, Lee Freestone, unfortunately for him, has had to drop out, but it's one lap remaining for your race leader. 46, Steve Luton. Callum Tilly is hanging on by a thread to second position at the moment. What can 357 Jamie Turnbull do to get his car into second place? He has done so. 46, Steve Luton with the win. There has been change in second place. 357, Jamie Turnbull takes it. 88, Callum Tilly does hold on to a top three finish. But it's 46, Steve Luton, who was across the line first. And he'll pick up the chequered flag for the first time in the production rods tonight. A brilliant start from him. Callum Tilly did his best to hang on to the race lead for as long as he could. But the pressure was mounting and it eventually told for your race winner, the driver of car number 46, Steve Luton. <laughs> Thank you. 
Confirmation, your race winner number 46, Steve Luton. And unfortunately for 23, Gemma Moore, it looks like she had problems early on because she came out onto the track but has promptly made her way back off it. But we do have still out there 259, Martin Fade, Ryan Edmonds in car 171. Alongside him, a season first for 77, Robert Hooper. 18 is Grant Krellin and 24, Lee Jordan. Often fireworks when these guys are out on the track. We expect no different tonight. It's great to see more of them here this evening after a reduced field seven days ago in very wet conditions indeed. Martin Fade in pole position early on then with 171. Ryan Edmonds looking like he's going to be met with a little bump from 18 Grand Krellin as they make the approach and eventually go round turn two onto that back straight. 24 Lee Jordan meanwhile has overtaken Robert Hooper moving himself into fourth place. Krellin overtakes Edmonds but he looks like he's got company because 24 Lee Jordan has also gone round. 171 Ryan Edmonds on the inside there makes a bit of contact with 18 Grand Krellin there. They're side by side going round turn three, but it's 24 Lee Jordan with the edge, overtaking Grant Crowen to move into second place. Well, slight contact there from 24 Lee Jordan, but not anything enough to throw 18 Grant Crowen off the scent. So he's still in contention here in third place as it stands. 171 right up and just a bit further back in fourth fairly evenly spaced out at the moment with 77 Robert Hooper just approaching 171 Ryan Edmonds. But what can the chasing pack do to get 259 Martin Fade off pole position? He's holding his own so far. That's 24 Lee Jordan just nibbling away at the lead. Getting some real speed on the straights is Lee Jordan, and now it looks as if 259 Martin Fade is going to have an uncomfortable next couple of laps. He's been forced out wide though, lets his guard down, opens the door, and 24 Lee Jordan needs no second invitation. A 77 Robert Hooper clatters into the back of 171 Ryan Edmonds. He briefly goes into the middle of the track, to the glass bank. But he's back out there as his efforts resume. But 24, Lee Jordan it is, who has the lead ahead of 259, Martin Fade. And then in third, as he stands, is 18, Grant Krillin. And truth be told, no one is going to get close to those front three because they're some way off, fourth and fifth. Grant Krillin will be hoping he can go into second place as he gets ever closer to 259, Martin Fade. But he's running out of time to do anything about that. Lee Jordan's race to lose. But 18, Grant Crowen will be hoping he can move his way up the order. As 259, Martin Fade tries to fend off that competition. The checkered flag's being ready. It's waving for 24, Lee Jordan. Fade in second with Crowen in third. It will be Hooper with a fourth place finish in his first action of the 2021 season. And 171 Ryan Edmonds, despite that collision with Robert Hooper, does finish the race in fifth. But it's an opening race victory for that man in car number 24. No stranger to success in these parts. Let's hear it for your race winner, 24, Lee Jordan. Just getting all the cars set on the track. 
before we can get the race going in earnest. Just a reminder out there, TJ Tier is car 119, Harry Merriweather in car 118. Number 11, Keen Staniford, 41, Nicole Astle Burt, 26 in the red is Shannon Moore, 58, Rio Osborne, 33, Shane Emerson, 825, Keen Piers, and number 800, a first appearance of the season for Macaulay Tier. There's been a slight delay getting going in this race, but there is the green flag. And again, a bright start from TJ Tier. A lot of cars out there then. 33 Shane Ellison just trying to make an early move past 58 Rio Osborne. But he's drifting wide, and that might allow 58 Rio Osborne an instant response. That doesn't happen though. 33 Shane Ellison does move up a place. Now behind 26, Shannon Moore, 119, TJ Tier leads ahead of Harry Merriweather. Then comes number 11, Kean Staniford, and 41, Nicole Astle Burt. There's no change in that regard. 33, Shane Ellison, and 825, Kean Pierce, both rounding 58, Rio Osborne. Ellison trying to go round 26, Shannon Moore now on turn three. The floodlights are on, which means that visibility is deteriorating here. A very grey night here in Onken. Looks like the rain has held off so far. Contact there between 33 Shane Ellison and the back end of 11 Kean Staniford. And meanwhile, 825 Kean Piers goes around the inside of Staniford, moves into fourth place. 41 Astle Burt trying to get round the outside of 118 Merriweather and does so along with 825 Kean Piers and 33 Shane Ellison. So it means 119, TJ Tier is ahead of 41, Nicole Rastel Burt, by some distance as well. 825, Kean Piers now trying to have a go at overtaking Astel Burt, a move into second position, but 41, Astel Burt making life difficult for those cars behind her, but the pressure is increasing as time goes on, and 825, Kean Piers gets his nose in front. She's still ahead of Ellison, but for how long? As it looks like 33, Ellison has just got the pace and the power to get round 41, Astle Burn on the straight. So it's TJ Tier who leads ahead of 825, Kean Piers. Does Kean Piers have the pace to catch up with TJ Tier? Time is running out, the laps are running out. And it's looking like it's going to be another victory for TJ Tier. Plenty of cars out there on the track. 111 Sam Cracknell will not finish the race. But 825 Tier is being followed closely out there by 33 Shane Ellison. As Ellison threatens. Once again, to go round 825, Key and Pierce. Pierce having absolutely none of it so far. He can't let his guard down, though, because he knows that 33, Shane Ellison, is very capable of seizing on any mistakes that Pierce may make. 26, Shannon Moore, just drifting wide there as they go round McCauley Tier. There's the checkered flag. TJ Tier with another victory here at Onkin Raceway. His season continues to be a very impressive one. Two wins from two races tonight. 825 Keen Pierce finishes in second. Ellison in car 33, rounding off the top three. But it's a familiar story. It's TJ Tier with a victory. And again, a significant gap between him and second place. He'll want to keep it that way. It doesn't get boring for him. If he keeps winning, he's a happy boy. And he's a winner once again. The chequered flag goes to him as he goes round for his lap of honour. Show your appreciation for your race winner, the driver of car 119, TJ Tier.
Who are you? Do you know it's Will's birthday today? I've, uh, I've got something planned for it. for it. Confirmation, your race winner. What's up next? Who won the last one? I can't remember. Uh, Lee, Steve, uh, 46, Steve Luton, safety Steve. Getting his hands on the checkered flag in race one of the production rods. Who are we hoping to make it two from two? Following in the footsteps of TJ Tier. Who's done it for the win in the whites and yellows and then in the junior rods. As it gets darker and darker with each race. Also out there, 88, Callum Tilly, 538, Ian Neal. 357 is Jamie Turnbull. And 358 is Mark Hargreaves. As they get the signal to start the race. And what a brilliant start that is from both 358, Mark Hargreaves and 46. Steve Luton getting some real speed up in the early stages. But it's 46, Steve Luton, who's just got the edge ahead of Hargreaves as he sets his sights on going round 5-3-8, Ian Neal, and does so. 3-5-7, Jamie Turnbull, he's moved into second early on and catching up with 88, Callum Tilly in no time at all. And Tilly will now be nervously looking over his shoulder and seeing 3-5-7, Jamie Turnbull bearing down on him as he forces him wide, goes past him on the inside and takes the lead of this race. Change at the top of the order then. 357 Turnbull ahead of 88 Callan Tilly. But he looks like he's under threat from 46 Steve Luton, who duly does go round him. But again, he had to take the long route round 88 Callan Tilly, who moves further back into fourth. So it's all changed. It's 357 Jamie Turnbull. Ahead of safety, Steve Luton, who has eyes on a second victory of the night. 358 Mark Hargreaves set in third. Well, it was a brilliant race last time out. It's not disappointing this time around either with 46 Steve Luton hot on the heels of 357, the race leader Turnbull. Turnbull has a quick glance in his mirror. He'll see 46 Steve Luton there and knows that he has to keep composed. He has to keep focused, because one slip will allow 46 Steve Luton in. Another failed attempt to try and get around him there from Luton. Was setting itself up for a real grandstand finish here. Turnbull still ahead of 46, Steve Luton. Luton trying to go around the outside again. Cam 357, Jamie Turnbull just cling on to this lead. He's got three more laps to hold on to the lead. It looks ominous really for 357, Jamie Turnbull. Because 46, Steve Luton, he looks like he means business this evening. But 357, Turnbull is holding off all the competition. And it looks like 358, Mark Hargreaves is joining the party with two laps to go. 358, Hargreaves briefly moving into second before 46, Steve Luton responds. All the while, 357, Jamie Turnbull is still the race leader. And there's one lap left. Is there to be a final twist in the tail underneath the floodlights of a gloomy Onken raceway this evening? 357, Jamie Turnbull took the lead ahead of 88, Callum Tilly. He's not looked back. 46, Steve Luton and 358, Hargreaves battling it out for second. Well, it's a win for 357, Jamie Turnbull. What a brilliant drive from him. Not just to get himself into the lead, but to hold on to it for all that time, under all that pressure as well. 358, Mark Hargreaves, I think just pipping 46, Steve Luton to second. We'll have to await confirmation on that. But what a brilliant performance there 
from the man claiming the checkered flag. Put your hands together for your race winner, number 357, Jamie Turnbull. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, nice. Confirmation, your race winner, 357, Jamie Turnbull. Yeah, your way off it to make a few more adjustments to her car. But she's competing in this race. Ten laps of the heavyweights. Two five nine is Martin Fade. You've then got one seven one Ryan Edmonds. Eighteen Graham Crowen. Seventy seven Robert Hooper. His first appearance of the season today. Twenty three Gemma Moore, as we said, and twenty four is Lee Jordan. And usually. There's plenty of drama when these cars are out there on the track. That's 18. Krellin just closes the gap between himself and the man in second place. 171 Edmonds. Was there a tiny bit of contact there? I'm not too sure between Edmonds and Krellin. 77 and 24. Robert Hooper and Lee Jordan. Go round 23, Gemma Moore. Just a little poke in the back for, 20, uh, for 77, Robert Hooper. 77, Robert Hooper just wobbling around turn four. We're holding on to his position for now. And 24, Lee Jordan. Just in a little shunt there onto the back straight. Well, he was wobbling around that corner last time out. And his problems are foot for 18, Krellin. After... A little assault there from 171 Ryan Edmonds. Krellin just colliding with an infield marker tyre. And that's going to cost him dear. 259 Martin Fade maintaining his lead. 77 Robert Hooper spinning around before rejoining the action. So once again, it's Fade ahead of Edmonds. Car 171. 24 Lee Jordan is in third. as the lats tick over in this 10 lap bangers race and 259 Faye hold on to that lead 171 Ryan Edmonds it is in second place 18 Grant Clennon looks like he's the closest contender 2259 Faye but that's only after an incident we saw him in field and playing catch up with the rest of them as 24 Lee Jordan goes in to the back end of 171 Ryan Edmonds to move into second place and Edmonds now desperately trying to hold on to his position before losing ground to 23 Gemma Moore but responds instantly and 24 Lee Jordan now has a clear shot at 259 Martin Fade and he's got just over a lap to pull something out of the top tour and claim victory when it looks like the race is getting away from him. Fade holding on to pole position. Is it going to be a bridge too far for 24 Lee Jordan? He's leaving it very late if things are to change. As 259 Fade goes round the final bend and across the line to claim victory. 24, Lee Jordan falling agonizingly short of a second win of the night. But he led from lap one right through to lap 10. And it's delight for Martin Fade. who will pull up and prepare himself. <laughs> He did win, right? <laughs> yeah, the freezes. <laughs> oh, I think it was 259. I don't think he knows. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Well, nobody has been able to get anywhere near 119 TJ tier. Not just tonight, that is. That's throughout the season so far. It's going to take a big performance from one of these young drivers to change that. Kean Piers came closest last time around in car 825. Thirty-three, Shane Ellison. Fifty-eight, Israel Osborne. Twenty-six, Shannon Moore. Forty-one, Nicole Astle Burt. Number eleven is Kean Staniford, and one eighteen. Ten-year-old hotshot Harry Merriweather. As the green flag signals the start of racing once again. So it's 119 TJ Tier consistently setting the pace in the junior rods. There's a bright start as well for 11 Keen Staniford, getting himself close to Merriweather, but not really troubling him right from the outset here. 33 Shane Ellison and 825 Keen Pierce have both made good starts from the back. 33 Shane Ellison in electrifying form there. As he goes past 41, Astor Burt and 118, Harry Merriweather seamlessly. And Ellison looks like he's got the bit between his teeth in this race, because now he's moved into third place. From the back to the front, really, he now has to get past 11. Kean Staniford to move into second place and give himself a real chance, because he's got there in no time at all into third. 825 Keen Piers has caught up with him. He's been held up by 11 Keen Staniford. And he's got to pick his moment now, 33 Shane Ellison, because 11 Staniford's not going to let this go easily. The black and blue of Staniford just holding up both Ellison, Piers, and 41 Nicole Astle Burke. 33. Shane Ellison again tries to go around 11 Staniford. This time he's trying to make it stick as they go around turn three into turn four. And 33 Ellison has moved into second place. He's about half a lap behind the race leader, 119 TJ Tier. He tops the standings in the junior rods as well. And 33 Shane Ellison is out there to change the course of this race and hopefully the course of his season as well. He's in second place. He's got about three laps to catch up with 119 TJ Tier. 825 Kean Pierce has also made his way around 11 Kean Staniford. 41 Astle Burt looking to do the same now and does so effectively. A brilliant overtake there from Astle Burt. She moves into fourth place. There's a bit of a gap between her and third. 825 Kean Staniford. He's quite close himself in turn to 33 Shane Ellison, but they're way, way behind the race leader. And once again, the clock is ticking down, and it looks like it's to be another comfortable lead for TJ Tier heading into his final two laps. But hopefully, from the perspective of Ellison and Kean Piers, he'll be held up, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough for his rivals out there on the track to catch him up. The flag waves for TJ Tier once again. A hat trick at the first attempt for 119 TJ Tier. 33 Shane Ellison has to settle for second with 825 Kean Piers in third. And they must be left wondering just what math they have to do to dethrone 119 TJ Tier. Just a reminder, if you could please get behind the white wall, it is for your own safety. If you go past the white wall while watching, the racing will stop. Yeah. 
A hat trick here at the first time of asking. Let's hear it for your race winner once again, number 119, TJ Tier. Did you give him what for? Oh, did. Good on you. Confirmation your race winner, one nineteen TJ Tier. Another rolling start. There have been wins for Safety Steve Luton in car 46, and most recently 357 Jamie Turnbull. It has to be said, there's been plenty of action in the production rods this evening. It's been some classic racing. And let's hope we're in for another brilliant encounter over the next 10 laps. 88 Calantilli is also out there. 358 is Mark Hargreaves, and 538 is Ian Neal in the orange mobile. We're racing again, and it has been gripping stuff in the production rods. As 46, Steve Luton gets ahead of 358. Mark Hargreaves, Callum Tilly holding an early lead. 357, Jamie Turnbull chasing 538, Ian Neal around Duncan Raceway. And he's not going to give him a moment's rest in the early stages of this race. Trying to force his way through on the inside of 538, Ian Neal, and succeeds. At the first time of asking, brilliant driving from 357 Turnbull there, and he now has a clear shot at 88, Callum Tilly. That's 46, Steve Luton. Steals the march on 538, Ian Neal to move into third place, albeit briefly, because it looks like 538, Ian Neal might respond. But 46, Luton just too quick for him as 357, Turnbull moves into the lead. 46, Steve Luton getting some real speed on what is a quick circuit here at Onkin Raceway. The last time out, 357, Turnbull demonstrated such concentration and composure combined with brilliant driving which prevented 46 Steve Luton from getting round him and getting into pole position. So much so, the 358 Mark Hargreaves caught up with the top two and eventually managed to get himself second ahead of 46 Steve Luton. If that happens again, we'll have to feel 46 Steve Luton won't take that too kindly. But it's 357 Turnbull ahead of 46 Steve Luton. They're having a real battle out there to see who will get their hands on the checkered flag as 46 Steve Luton attempts an overtake around the outside, shifting quite wide, almost colliding with the outer safety fencing. But collision averted, disaster averted for 46 Steve Luton. A bit further back. Or go back in a minute because 46 Steve Luton again having another attempt to round 357, the race leader Jamie Turnbull. And you can't really take your eyes off those front two because they're neck and neck. But we thought there'd be fireworks this evening. There hasn't been too many collisions to tell you about. But there's been some fantastic racing here in the production rods. And 357 Turnbull's on course to make it two wins from three races. Maybe a little bit of contact was there between Turnbull and 46 Steve Luton as they make one last desperate attempt to get themselves across the line first. And it's delight for Jamie Turnbull.
Well, 46, Steve Luton did everything in his power to get round 357 Turnbull, but it wasn't enough. Another brilliant drive from the race winner. <laughs> 358, Mark Hargreaves, I think, just managed to get round 538, Ian Neal, to claim third spot. But what a drive once again. He's been brilliant tonight. It's his second win from three races. Put your hands together for your race winner, 357, Jamie Turnbull. <laughs> Confirmation, your race winner, 357, Jamie Turnbull. Out there, 171, Ryan Edmonds. Alongside him, 77, Robert Hooper. Then comes 18, Grant Krillin. And 23, Gemma Moore. It's only her second race this evening. She didn't contest the opening one in the bangers. And she's been overtaken promptly there by 24, Lee Jordan. And 18, Grant Crowen, just scraping, I think, there, one of the infield marker tyres, but it's not put him off too much because he has got round 77, Robert Hooper, to move up to third early on. The 2.59 fade. We'll be hoping to make it two from three in terms of race wins tonight. And remarkably, the rain has held off because they look like very, very dark grey clouds and threatening that the heavens will open. Which remain dry, albeit very cold and windy so far. There's 259 fade in the lead ahead of 171 Edmonds and 18 Grand Crillon. That's your top three. So it hasn't changed in quite some time with 24 Lee Jordan applying the pressure on 77 Robert Hooper. Will the pressure tell? Just gives him another thump into the back there. And 77 Robert Hooper losing control after taking a hit there from 24 Lee Jordan, but he doesn't lose too much ground. 23 Gemma Moore looks like she's having some real problems with her car out there. It's 259 Martin Fade still in the lead. 171 Ryan Edmonds then taking a hit from 18 Grant Krellin. Krellin moving into second place. 24 Lee Jordan is in third. And there is change with 23 Gemma Moore dropping out of the race completely. She'll watch on as a spectator. 171 Ryan Edmonds, are there problems for him as well? It looks like it. We hope that he'll be able to rejoin the action. It looks like he may just do that. But it's 259 fade ahead of 18 Grant Quillen, then 24 Lee Jordan. And then some way back, 77 Robert Hooper. The handbrakes go on as they go round turn four with 259 Martin Fade in the race lead. 18 Grant Crellin slips up there, drifting wide, allowing 24 Lee Jordan to cruise past him. And now he's hoping to pounce on any errors the 259 Martin Fade will make. His line isn't the best, it has to be said. He is drifting wide. And he's drifted wide once again, which has opened the door for 24 Lee Jordan to become the new leader. So there is a new leader of this race. How will 259 Martin Fade respond after dropping back into second place? Or is it a foregone conclusion now? 24 Lee Jordan has got the lead. He doesn't tend to lose it when he gets there. And it looks like this will be no different. He's got a healthy lead, but he knows that can change in an instant. It's not going to, though. There's the checkered flag waving as 24 Lee Jordan crosses the line. Say so not being able to repeat his performance of the last race. He finishes by crossing the line in second place. But it's another win for the driver of car number 24. Yeah. 
Well, he's had plenty of success at Onken Raceway in the past. He's got another win tonight to add to his one in the opening race in the Bangers. He is your race winner. It's the driver of car number 24, Lee Jordan. Confirmation, your race winner, number 24, Lee Jordan. The driver's primed and ready to go for the final time in the junior rods this evening then. It has got darker, whether that will be a factor in the race. I'll have to get used to the conditions, but under the lights, TJ Tier will be hoping to continue his 100% record right through the evening. It's been a delight to watch in this season so far. It's been a fantastic starter and he just gets such a massive lead over the other drivers out there which means if a Shane Ellison or a Kean Piers were to make it into second place it's just too much time to make up too much ground to make up so we can't stress how imperative it is for any potential challengers to get themselves into a strong position early on. 31, Shane Ellison. Looks like he could have been frustrated by 11, Staniford there, but no problem for him in the end. As he goes round 118, Harry Merriweather. And he's in hot pursuit of 41, Astor Burt who leads the charge, but is about just over a quarter of a lap behind leader Tia in car 119. 33, Shane Ellison. Did have a few problems getting himself into second place last time. He'll be hoping that's not the case this time around, but it looks like any attempt he tries to go round 41 after work is thwarted. He's followed closely by 825 Kean Piers, who's looked menacing at times this season so far. He's not quite delivered this evening. He'll know that he's a born winner. Loves to pick up victories here at Onken Raceway. And he'll hoping to use that as motivation to get himself in a commanding position. But they're both being held up by 41 Astor Bird, who's coming in a very competent drive here to keep both 33 Ellison and 825 Piers at bay. And there's no change in the race leader. It looks like it will take an absolute miracle to stop 119 TJ Tier from continuing this simply sensational form, which will see him win all four races this evening that he has competed in. It's a formality, really. Four lies a bit further back in the battle for second. Currently winning the battle for second is Astor Burt. She'll be able to feel 33 Ellison breathing down her neck, though. She will have to keep her concentration up to the last. One lap to go to hold on to second place. Despite the best efforts of 33, Shane Ellison and 85, Key and Piers. But here comes round the final bend, 119, TJ Tier, who continues to shine under the lights. 
four wins from four races for him. Astelbert in second. We'll have to get a confirmation of who ended up in third there. It was a tight call between 825 Key and Piers and 33 Shane Ellison. Another night to remember them for that young man in car 119. Give a big round of applause for your race winner for the fourth time tonight. Let's hear it for 119, TJ Tier. <laughs> Races to come then next up is the production rods confirmation your race winner in the last outing in the junior rods was 119 TJ Tier in the race prior to that one 88 Callan Tilly 538 Ian Neal are also out there trying to get their hands on a checkered flag. We mentioned Luton before in car 46. He picked up the opening race win in the production rods, but since then hasn't been able to get past 357 Jamie Turnbull. And he was frustrated so much in race two that he didn't even get second place. He was pipped to that by 358 Mark Hargreaves. I'm sure that will have got to him a little bit. He's looking for a bright start here. We want to get round 357 Turnbull because he knows what a tricky customer he can be. And what a fantastic overtake that is. Early doors for 357 Turnbull. Moves into second place. He's followed on the outside of 538 Ian Neal by 46 Steve Luton. Again comes very close to colliding with that outer safety fencing. He moves into third place. And I'm sure a lot of the focus, a lot of the attention will be on that battle between Steve Luton and 357 Jamie Turnbull. Turnbull in second, Luton in third as it stands as 358 Mark Hargreaves go past Ian Neal to move into fourth spot. All are trailing 88 Callan Tilly. Let's not write him out of the equation just yet because he's got a significant lead in this final production rods race of the night. 46 Luton mounts a challenge to go round. 357 Jamie Turnbull. And he struggled doing so all night. It has to be said. And if Turnbull can make it a hat trick tonight, he'll be riding the crest of a wave because it'll be a fantastic way to round off what's been a brilliant night for him. He's shown superb discipline and amazing focus to hold off the pressure and the threat that is possessed by 46 Steve Luton. He's going to try and go around the outside of Turnbull once again here, but Turnbull responding brilliantly, getting at some serious speed on those straights, and they've closed the gap now. 
and 88, Callum Tilly, with three laps to go, is going to concede the lead, it seems, as he is forced out wide, and Turnbull and Luton both go past him on the inside and move into first and second, respectively. Well, is history going to repeat itself for both Jamie Turnbull and Steve Luton? One of them will be hoping it does so, the other not so much as 46 Steve Luton doing everything in his power. He's pulling out all the stops, he's got his nose in front, but 357 Turnbull comes back fighting. And with one lap to go, once again, they are going side by side, herring round Donkin Raceway, one of the quickest tracks in stock car racing in the British Isles. And it's the speed of 357, Jamie Turnbull, I think, which is going to nick this. It's a victory for Turnbull. It is the hat trick. 46 Luton in second place once again. History has repeated itself. <laughs> Final race of the night then, it comes in, the bangers. As darkness has descended on Onkin Raceway. I'll be awaiting to find out who will be the final champion of the night. 259 is Martin Fade, 171 Ryan Edmonds, Robert Hooper in car 77. A welcome return to Onkin Raceway for him as 18 Grant Cranham passes him on the inside going round turn three. Then one back from 77, Robert Hooper is 23, Gemma Moore. And then finally we have number 24, Lee Jordan, who's amassed two race wins already this evening. And problems for 77, Robert Hooper, as 23, Gemma Moore clatters into him. And it's a disastrous start for 77, Robert Hooper. Smoke emanating from his bonnet as he gets going again down that back straight. So it's Fade ahead of Edmonds, in turn ahead of number 18, Grant Crellin. And Gemma Moore and 24, Lee Jordan, both going past uh, 77, Robert Hooper, who's putting on a show for the fans who stayed in the stadium. And again, 171, Edmonds taking a spin there following pressure from 18, Greg Krillin, who's got eyes on 259, Martin Fay, but again, 23, Gemma Moore and 77, Robert Hooper coming to blows. With Mark Attires getting caught under the wheels of 77, Hooper. Late drama in the bangers then. 259, Martin Fade leads. He's on course for a second win of the night. He's ahead of 18, Frank Krillin. And it's anyone's guess who's actually in third. I think it might actually be 23, Gemma Moore. But it's Fade leading ahead of 18, Frank Krillin. And there could be another collision here between 23, Gemma Moore, and 171, Ryan Evans, who's advancing. Coming so close to a little collision there with 23, Gemma Moore. Don't think they're even touching as they go round turn three and four. But Hooper's slowing down. And he thought there might be another collision there. As excitement builds with 24, Lee Jordan almost just clattering into 77, Robert Hooper. 259, Martin Fay does still lead. 77, Hooper again colliding with some debris which is left straight on the Ogden Raceway track. 18, Grant Crowley. But what can he do in his final lap of the night? To get within touching distance of 259, Martin Fay and maybe even steal the victory late on as Fade comes round the final two bends and the checkered flags waving as he crosses the line to get his second win of the night Grant Crowley in second Edmonds in third and a thoroughly entertaining way to round off this evening's meeting Live from my isolation booth here in the main stand, we move on to the prize presentations of this evening's meeting, sponsored by Old Lawn and Church Farm Cottages. 
Starting with the Window Wizard Junior production rods in third place overall, number 825, Kian Piers. In second place overall tonight, the driver of car number 33, Shane Ellison. And with a record this meeting of four wins from four races, a 100% record, your overall winner, the driver of car number 119, TJ Tier. The presentation for the production rods Sponsored this evening by Mike's Motors. In third place overall, number 358, Mark Hargreaves. In second place tonight, number 46, safety, Steve Luton. But performing brilliantly tonight with three wins from four races. The star of the show in the production rods, number 357, Jamie Turnbull. prize presentation for the bangers this evening it was race three of six for the ronnie caulfield trophy in third place overall number 18 grant Krellin. <laughs> in second place tonight number 24 lee jordan show to seal the victory the overall winner of the bangers this evening number 259 martin fade <laughs> <laughs>